With SpaceX targeting 100 launches this year, Space Florida says it is dealing with a schedule crunch. That's right. Between the bustling cruise industry at Port Canaveral and more frequent launches, New Six's James Barbero takes a look at the timing. We've been a very, very busy, busy place. With record-breaking numbers of cruise passengers and, and rocket launches happening on Florida's Space Coast, both industries are paying closer attention to conflicting schedules leaders say pose a greater threat to scrubs and delays on the range and at sea. When so that safety zone is up, nobody's supposed to be in it. However, sometimes there are people in it, and then there are assessments made whether to go forward with the launch or not go forward with the launch, depending who's in the safety zone. But the goal is to have no one in it. The last time Space Florida says a ship caused the launch to be postponed was a year ago, when the Coast Guard said a Royal Caribbean cruise entered restricted waters during a SpaceX countdown. Hold, hold, hold. Ship in the hazard area. The military issues notices to ships where to avoid during a launch. Since the incident, Space Florida tells us the Coast Guard and FAA have added additional notification measures. Last year, we had record launches, 57 launches at the Cape. They're predicting close to 100 this year. So we know that we're going to see increased traffic. Comprehensive approaches and policies have to be put in place today that we can help solidify Florida's future as the dominant gateway to space. Addressing legislators this week in Tallahassee, Space Florida advised for cruise passengers to be aware for the possibility that with a busier launch schedule, arrivals and departures could be delayed. On the Space Coast, I'm James Sparbero, getting results news six.